remember saw. Trees? Why did it have to be trees? Hi guys, Spitfire here bringing you another game of Dota 2. Been a while since my last one, I know. Um, I've been basically trying to wait for a, a really good game. Uh, looking back at some of my other games I've recorded, I've been disappointed in my actual standard of play. <laughs> uh, especially since, you know, if I'm going to release a video, I have to make it so it's worthwhile for people to watch. If it's just any old game that you could uh, that you find on YouTube or searching through replays, it's just not worthwhile. Uh, so I am trying to get a, a good a good game for you. And um, also, sometimes when I was playing Heroes, I was playing them like my fourth time playing, sometimes second time playing. <coughs> so obviously, this didn't give me a lot of knowledge about the hero. And my, you know, my my skill is very poor, so I have been trying to get uh, at least some success with the hero before I release a video. So now we have Timbersaw. Yes, uh, basically I've been doing quite well with this hero. He's uh, especially since the buff. He got buffed, obviously. Um, but um, I've been finding him very enjoyable. I think my win loss is about eight and two as of this game, and up till now I think I'm on about thirteen Please games overall, which isn't that much. Here considering but uh, it's still pretty good for me and uh, yeah I really enjoyed this game it was very entertaining so here I am with a video I know it comes out at the same time as Purge doing a video but it's not it's coincidence honestly <laughs> uh, that was a really good video as well I am actually using Purge's build so we, which uh, you'll probably find it familiar uh, I have been using the, the build that you can find using the Steam builds and I'm finding it very very helpful uh, right, I'm laning with Von Solo playing Crystal Maiden. He's going to be supporting me in this off lane. Uh, I could also solo this, but uh, I don't think we've got a great setup. We don't have anyone to jungle. Uh, and I don't think uh, try laning would be good either. But uh, Crystal Maiden is really good for Timbersaw because she has a mana regen aura. And mana is so important to Timbersaw. Basically, he's very reliant on his abilities, which I'll go through in a bit. Uh, and he, he really needs to keep uh, a steady income of mana, else he's kind of useless. His auto attack is very, well, it's very poor. <laughs> right, and and uh, Crystal Maiden is very good in this lane because she can obviously freeze, and then I, I can pay out, payload all my uh, abilities, and it turns into quite a good nuke. Now then, so whilst we're just trying to tackle this lane, I'll go through his abilities. Uh, the first one I picked was uh, Timber Chain. And this basically creates a chain which you can use on trees, and it, it, you'll hook, you'll go zooming towards a tree and do damage to whoever you pass through. Now this makes it a great tool for escaping, but also for attacking, as you'll probably see during the video. So there, I didn't really hit anyone, but I got out of danger, I suppose. <laughs> uh, it, it is reliant on you hitting the tree. Uh, so, well, there's some nukers in the game where it's just point and click nuke, like Lena and Lion. You, you know, you you uh, use your ability, you click, and you just do that in order. With Timber Sword, you've got to be very, you have to be positioned well in order to really land them. I can't just use it on Abaddon, I have to hit the tree like this, and I miss. <laughs> so it's very reliant on your positioning, very reliant on your timing, which is why I think it's such an, a, a good hero. Yeah, I'll let Crystal Maiden die there. Oh well. So I'm trying to use the chain to escape, but I don't think I'm going to outrun this Riki since he can just jump on me. Like that. <laughs> oh god. I, I chained slightly too late and I, did, I was just a, a ball of debris flying towards a tree. That's quite funny. Right, uh, okay. The other ability I got is Reactive Armor, which is basically just, uh, it's just to give me a bit of survivability. <coughs> What this does is uh, when I get attacked, I'll gain a stack and that will give me some armor and some regen. So this can stack up to about 16 times when I when I uh, put 4 points into it. So that makes me very durable and tanky and, and that's very nice. Um, the move I haven't got yet is Whirling Death which is uh, basically an AoE saw. It's, it's not got a massive range but it will basically hit everyone around me. And if I hit a tree whilst I use it, then everyone else I hit will take some pure bad? damage or some bonus pure damage, which is very nice against those high armor, high armor heroes. 
Now the last one ability is uh, my ultimate is Chakram. And I basically hurl a flying uh, Chakram somewhere, it'll go through trees and it'll, it can, if I leave it there it'll just stay spinning and it'll slow down anyone who, who passes through it whilst doing some damage. And I can also return it which will also do damage. So it, it's, it's quite low mana cost as well. Um, but if you if you leave it whirring it will drain your mana. But uh, that is it's very dangerous actually. And it's it's what uh, it really assists in my overall damage. So you, you'll probably just see Chakram's wh whirring all Guy's over the place. Now we see this Abaddon in the uh, stacking creep, so we try and catch him, but he sees us and he's going to get away. That means the Ricky's also going to be coming after us, so we're going to see if we can take him out. This is right between the trees, this is prime hunting area for me. Now, can I get this Ricky? Ah, the bloody Abaddon uses death call, so he's staying alive a bit. So yeah, we do have Abaddon in this game, it's quite, it's very recent after the uh, go live. Now, why didn't I, ki I need to kill the Abaddon? Ah, that's annoying. Really annoying. <laughs> So we thought it was just the two of them there, but they get uh, support very quickly. Some very good TPs from the other team. Ah, oh, that's annoying. We get we get the Riki, which is good, but we didn't get the Abaddon. Ah, uh, anyway, looking looking around the team just for a second. We're they're eight and three, so they're out killing us at the moment. We've got Phantom Lancer and Ancient Apparition. Uh, I don't know how good the Ancient Apparition choice was. He, uh, I think it was a random actually. Uh, but I, I am enjoying. Ancient Apparition, since he's, he got Agon of Scepter, he's, I think he's very strong. I might do a video of him when I get a good good game. Uh, we've got a Pudge, who's, also, who's obviously awesome, if you get a good Pudge. Uh, but back to me now. Now, items, I've got a Stout Shield, very important, I think. And for Magic Wand, this will just be great for as a utility, mostly to get mana back actually, until I get arcane boots. Uh, I definitely do need arcane boots, but at this point they are quite expensive, so... Oh, and I also need the boots first, I don't know why I don't have them yet. I should just buy them now. Uh, I'm sure I'll get boots eventually. Buy the boots, there we go. Okay, and... We're just going to try and push the in. Um still trying to figure out why we down so many kills. I mean, oh, we have pulled back a few now. Ah, uh, not going to worry too much. Ricky's over there now. Okay, so we don't have to worry about the Ricky. Ah, uh, this Shadow Demon actually has been doing a lot of the killing. Yeah, it's got four kills, so that's where Mr. Kill's been coming from. I'm going to try and chase him down with this fudge. We'll get rid of the illusions, but didn't quite get him. Come on. We just need to... I just need a hook, uh, Timber Chain and I'll get him. Timber onto the... Whoa! What the hell happened there? <laughs> I went flying in the air and I completely missed it. That was... That was interesting. Uh, I may have to action replay that. That was hilarious. Alright, we can get this thank you, surely. Right, this Timber Chain did some damage there. Pudge just got caught. We can just chain him again. Oh, there's no trees around. Yeah, that's not going to save you. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, so that's brilliant. Um, what makes him Timosaur a little difficult is if, if there's no uh, trees around, you can't actually chain anywhere, which uh, doesn't go into any escape, and it means you can't really be aggressive either. But if there are trees, then it's the whole f the forest is just your playground, man. It's you can just hook yourself Radiance everywhere and you'll end up doing just being mobile is for, for one is really good but you'll end up doing a lot of damage so we've got Radiance fights all over the place now so we're gonna have to guys, guys, guys. push back these three and the Ricky is just hovering around he's being annoying I can't actually see him but uh, we should be able to get him from this can I chain it? no I could chain that hook, that uh, tree, but I didn't. I don't think I saw it. Ah, uh, we lost our ancient apparition. Still getting some help from here. Both of them are so low, and I really want to just. I really want to want to go after this Ricky, right now. But obviously, I lose him again. Got my chakram, and that's all that does. 
but now I'm very low on mana after using that. Mana is very important. All I can do is just auto attack and it's not very really good. Now the Sand King's here, I can uh, do a bit of pure damage with my saw. Got the Ricky because he was super enough to stay around. And <laughs> this bunch is in trouble. Uh, I couldn't do much to help him there. I might be able to get this sinking bit of mana. Oh, death call. Bollocks. And now I've got to back off. Actually, I'm in trouble now. Yeah, because this is going to happen. Get back to the tower. Right. I should be safe to go. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not safe. I'm not safe. I'm not safe at all. Track him. No, I'm putting the tracker on just to slow him down. I just I need to get back to the tower. It does a bit of damage, but I can't kill him on my own. I'm out of mana, very low health. I'm just gonna hook the tower. Oh god, Pudge, save me! Pudge! Oh he's gonna die from the tower. Easy. That that was oof, close. I'm uh, not completely out of danger. I'm just gonna go back, so I'm gonna watch this fight now. We are starting to push him back, I mean, we've nearly caught up in kills as well. You're one of the good ones. Von Solo is just off leading here. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, th I think she does alright here, actually. Um, still heading back. Well, a lot of fights taking place at the top at the moment. Riki's hanging around. We don't have any kind of detection yet. You'd think we would because they have a Riki and a Sand King, so detection becomes pretty vital. Oh, that's a bad hook. <laughs> I got a bad hook. Where's the fight? Let's see. The uh, Shadow Demon's doing a lot of the work here. And that Abaddon is going to be really vital to them to keep them alive. He's such a pain in the ass and I don't know what they're going to do to him later but at the moment you just can't kill him. Or well, it's very hard to kill him anyway. Middle tower is under attack. Oh Pudge, shot it out. <laughs> I should be able to get a rookie now. Look to me. I think I'm in the fight now, aren't I? Your green dudes, something bad oh, I'm down here. In your bottom. I'm sprinting up with my haste. I don't know why I just didn't use a TP. I've got enough for a TP skull. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Right, so I'm in the fight now. Chakra him. Get oh damn this use disruption on me, so I can't quite get a kill. Chase him, chase him, get him. That that was bad. <laughs> I think I I didn't quite see where he went. I've got him eventually at least. Don't think I can get the Riki. Oh, I've got the like of it <laughs> with a nice chain. Yeah, this Riki's gonna get support from Anthem now, it's gonna be a pain. Oh, yeah. Crystal Maiden, yes! Oh, everyone's here. Brilliant. <laughs> I live. That's good. I'm gonna head back, so let's watch someone else. Oh, well, the fight's over, I guess. Yeah, I'm glad, uh, I would have been in trouble if I didn't get uh, backed up there, but that was fun. That was quite fun. Dyer's bottom tower is so yeah, I'm um, extremely hard to kill. I mean, not just with that reactive armor, but because I can chain Radiant about everywhere. Right, I got Dyer's my ring of health because I'm going to be working on a bloodstone. Let's go back to the fight. Oh. Crystal Maiden <laughs> killing the Sand King down the bottom. Guess you didn't know a little game of freeze. That was quite good. Right, where am I? I'm invisible trying to get this Ricky. There's not many trees in this middle bit, but I can still use check round. And now I've got trees, but I, I missed. That was just a guess, I couldn't see him. <laughs> I guess wrong. Would have been awesome if I did get him. Oh, now I've got to try and escape this Abaddon. Uh, where am I going? I'm trying to get a tree. I'm, I'm trying to get the tree up in the top there, but unfortunately there's a tree in front at the bottom. And I hit the tree at the bottom. 
it, it will, if you aim for one tree, it will hit any tree that's in front of it. It's a bit like uh, how clockwork, wo clockwork's chain work. Uh, for now, I'm in a bit of a dangerous situation, but um, I am still being a bit tanky here. Chaka, I'm slowing them down, and they're in that little choke area. Ow, I'm in a world of pain there. Yeah, shame we couldn't get the Ricky, but Pudge will get him. Boom. <laughs> Alright, not got much else to say. So yeah, got Ring of Health, working on the Bloodstone. After Bloodstone, I could... Uh, since I've probably used my Arcane Orb in my Arcane Boots, I'll probably have to change my boots after that. Oh yeah, this um, Shadow Demon does smack talk a bit in this game. <laughs> tower is under attack. Gets a bit annoying, but I'm uh, sure we can deal with that. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. All right, TB scroll Dyer's going to the bottom. Where the sanking is. He dies straight onto me under, under the tower. So that was really stupid of him. I don't know. He didn't have any creeps to absorb the tower, so he just completely killed himself. Oh, battle over here. Ah, I missed it. Killed Shadow Demon there. That's quite nice. How are we doing? I'm on. Jeez, I'm on six kills and Fudge's on six kills. I've just shot into the into the level lead. Quite nice. I saw it's Pudge now. Yeah, Pudge is doing awesome on that team. I don't think he's going to survive the Ricky. Yeah, he denied himself. Good. I'm just down here getting a tower. Ah, uh, yeah, the Shadow Demon smack talking. He, he just hasn't got the Ricky the whole time. It's very annoying. Should be able to get this tower, no problem. Got it. Good dude's bottom just fell off. So now I can get a Void Stone. I can get, I can get a uh, points booster actually, but um, I think I just go for the Void Stone. Just to get more perseverance now. Uh, look at a bit quiet right now. We've still got all our towers. I mean, it's 16 minutes and we've only just gotten the bottom tower. So it's going to be quite a drawn out game. But nonetheless. Gonna defend this middle tower. Here I just do some terrible auto attacking. Shoot my chakram. Leave my chakram a bit longer. Um, I really sh need to stop leaving it whirring in the middle of nowhere. I should just return it as soon as possible because it does have a tiny cooldown on it of about six seconds. I think it is. Uh, cooldown, cooldown. Oh, it's eight seconds. Yeah, so. Once I return it, I've got 8 seconds until I can use it again, and the bulk of the damage comes from actually throwing it and pulling it back. Rather, so if you just leave it whirring, it's good for slowing people. Oh god! Yeah, I was in trouble there. <laughs> I like how destruction hit the Abaddon. Oh, nice! That was a brilliant ambush, actually. I wasn't expecting um, my friends to come help, but uh, that was excellent. I'm really glad they jumped in to help there. Yeah, so I think he tried. The Shadow Demon tried to disrupt me, but he ended up disrupting the Abaddon. And of course, he blames Ricky. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, I've got improved reactive armor now. I'm actually going up to 12, so I've got uh, extra bonus armor. I think, got, I think I'm meant to have an extra 4, extra 12 um, stacks there. And with the regen that I get from reactive armor. Having bloodstone is also a really good thing to have because then my my regen just goes up into the skyrockets into like the twenties for both health and mana. It's really good. So I like, imagine that being in the fountain, like having half of that just normally like without even getting a heart to ask, you just your regen is just incredible. Providing you get enough stacks of your bloodstone obviously. Right, so we're gonna try and ambush Green some people in the middle. We're just gonna try and get the uh, failed to get the should I do it? Oh my god, <laughs> he completely uh, ignored the courier, but I managed to get a good tree into those handy trees by the rune. 
I'm sure they're, they're just there for Timbersaw to use. Oh god. Another hook. He's gonna get the like a throat. He's gonna be fast now. Uh, Sun King's already given it. Yeah, everyone get the like a throat. Right, uh. But it's nice that we're all together now. We can just push this lane. And I'm pretty sure it's uncontested actually, because they're not strong enough. They're all still level 9, level 10. We're all over over that. We're either 11, 13, 14. We're doing quite well. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, and good, 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 since I'm so tanky and taking some stacks here, I'm gonna, I can actually take some tower hits and fight around the tower. Got some trees so I can uh, do that. I can do some damage to the fast food people. Gonna try and help the H apparition. Uh, I get the Ricky, but it's too late. I missed the tree. That's another thing, you can't miss trees. Oh, that was tidy. I got a uh, nice pure damage saw in there. And I managed to survive. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm gonna back out now. I got enough money for a uh, points booster. Actually, yeah, I can get that points booster, so I've basically got my bus down there. If I disassemble these arcane boots, I should have it. Uh, I think I'm gonna... Shut up, Shadow Demon. Right, so there's my bloodstone. And I'm back to basic boots. Uh, I'll probably turn them into boots of travel later on. Uh, simply because uh, late game would be really useful. And there's nothing else I really need, I mean... Uh, I don't have to worry about uh, power treads because I don't really need to switch uh, from health from sorry from strength to intelligence. I'll, I'll my bloodstone will take care of that. Uh, yeah, we're all getting a bit annoyed with Shadow Demon now, so we're just telling them to shut up. What else is going on? One oh, solo doing quite well down here. I think she's killed the Sand King at the bottom lane at least twice now. It's rather funny. Coming back to middle, got another fight coming on. This has been very full of fights in the first 20 minutes. But I think that version goes down immediately, but I should be able to punish the like a group. Uh, Sand King's about to OC, but he gets hooked. No, that was funny as well. I uh, I hook into a tree and get disrupted as I go through. So now I can, I'm just going to rip. Hit another tree. Got the shadow demon. This is where it comes hard. It would be hard to chase down the other two because one's invisible, one's unkillable. So I'm just going to back off. Am I going to back off? Yeah, there we go. Not sure why I'm sticking around. I'm going to shot now, I think. I don't know what I get now. Um, let's just see. Oh, right, yeah. Vanguard. I'm going for Vanguard. Uh, I think it's because they have uh, four physical melee people that I want to go for um, a Vanguard here. That was a good old super me, eh? I'm going to try and get this Abaddon, but he's all seeing, so can't kill him. But I've got full reactive armor right now, so I'm very tanky and I can definitely survive all this punishment. I can survive all this punishment. Oh, okay, I didn't survive it. But um, I took out the Lycan for open the Florisus. Nearly got the Ricky. Would have been nice to get the Ricky. <laughs> uh, I think that's my last death, though. I don't think I die much after this. Radiant structures are fortified. All right, time to go back. So we're pushing them back to their tier two towers, Radiant and we've lost. Uh, well, actually, we've oh lost two of ours as well. Totally I think like that was no. from just the creep pushing. I don't think uh, they did much to, uh, to take them. I'm just gonna go down here. Down here. Down here to clear the screen. Can't talk today. Sunday, I'm feeling lazy. That's the wrong team. Right. Now, the problem with me being down at the bottom is I think they're going to try and start a fight in the middle again. 
Yo, green dudes, something bad is happening in your bottom. Oh, this Pudge <laughs> keeps missing his hook. He doesn't know he's being filmed. Must be very embarrassing. Oh, and Crystal Maiden's gonna go down because she's in a very vulnerable position here. I get the Sand King, but. Oh, that was very lucky. I was certain she was gonna die. I think she's gonna die now. Run, Vaughn, run! That's better. No, don't turn around! You won't kill him. There you go. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, there I am. I'm in a fight. I didn't get to hook any tree, though. So, I'm gonna try and track him. Yes! Brilliant. So, I caught him in the track ram, so he was slowed, and luckily there was a tree there opposite him I could hook. Let's get the kill. That's 11 kills now. <laughs> I managed to get Ricky with the track ram. <laughs> and there's in the tree. Yes! <laughs> Got the Shadow Demon. Lovely triple kill there. It's, it's, it's just fantastic when you get those kinds of kills. His abilities don't seem like the kind of things you'd expect for a good nuking. Like, he's not Lena, he can't just go uh, Q, W, or R, W, Q, R, like you can with Lena, and he'll just uh, unload all your abilities, but then Dagon or something. Uh, it's all just, there's a tree, I'll hit the tree, pass through him, I'll use my swords as I pass through him, and then I'll hit the chakram before or after that. Uh, Chakram is really good for um, catching people when they run away because not only does it it's damaging them at range, it's also slowing them down. So you can get a hook or something. Right, so I'm going to back up here. I'm going to follow Crystal Maiden. Just got a kill in the middle. So we are 20 kills ahead now. We're kind of stomping on them at this point. And they're complaining. <laughs> Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Why is this so bloody difficult? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Just gonna try and talk out this bit of downtime. I'm here pushing this top tower. Top thing is about to get and there's not much they can do about it. Jesus, shut up, even. Won't shut up. Top tower is under oh, Ricky's after because I mean, thinks she'll get away. This Pudge is also here. Ah, uh, Ricky's definitely trying to get him. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Oh, we won't get this Ricky because we still don't have detection. We don't have a gem or anything. And uh, I couldn't guess where he was here. Right now, Crystal Man gets the gem, so that's going to help out a lot. I think I that eventually gets given to me because I'm going to be the most mobile here. There's a track ram. Now, the problem, if I'm disrupted or silenced, I can't pull back the chakra. It's quite irritating. So you basically, if you silence when you use it, it's just a drain on your mana. And I don't know if people do it purposely, but it happens more often than, than not. <coughs> but since I've got so much regen, it's not too bad. I've got 21 mana regen right now. So that was a miss on the... Uh, on the chain. Now you notice when I use track ram it cuts through trees which means that I don't have any more trees to use my chain on. <laughs> you have to be careful with that. I'm trying to get rid of this Abaddon but I won't be able to kill him with his ulti and shield there. But I'm not taking a lot of damage because of all my armor I've got. I've got uh, over 20 armor right now and re a massive regen. 33 health regen in combat is really nice. Now can I get this Ricky with a chain? I can't see him. Yes, got him. <laughs> and I'm gonna throw my chakram in here, I think. Oh no, I used my chain. I don't even think I knew he was there, honestly. Uh, <laughs> I think I was trying to just chain the creep and uh, realized I was in a sandstorm and I managed to get the sanking, so that was quite nice. So yeah, I haven't, I'm level 20, I haven't died in a while. 15 kills. I mean, that's quite a lot. I mean, granted, we are stomping them when everyone's getting quite a lot of kills. We lost our ancient apparition as well. Oh well. I don't think there's anything going to stop us from taking this game. Miss the tree. That's another thing, yeah. He, it, there's, no, there's no trees, you can't really fight, and if you miss the tree, then you just, you, you just suck. 
See, I can't really hug a tree. Oh, I missed with a track home. Someone else got him. Now, the one shortcoming I find with Timbersaw is that he's not very good at this stage fighting in the fountain. Uh, he, he, he can't do it because if he's by the edges there's a lot of trees and that's great so you can get people by the trees at the edge but if you're right in the middle there's no trees and you miss all that mobility and burst of having the timber chain so all you can do is just stomp around and chakram people that's all you can really do no, oh, EA's back with you. <laughs> now uh, Pudge gives me the gem of true sight so that, that should just mean I can kill anyone I like now can see where this Riki goes. And I'm missing everything. But I was trying to wait until I was sort of perpendicular with my... Well, I was waiting until Riki was in the middle of me and my chat gun before I pulled it back, but it didn't quite work out. <laughs> I'm just hanging around in the fountain because I can. I can. I don't even have to go back for anything. My region is so strong right now. 17 stacks of my bloodstones, quite nice. Oh, well, okay, there's some trees here, but they're not in very good positions for me to use. I'm trying to get back in this fight, I see I can kind of uh, help. If I stand by the trees, I'll be able to do some damage. Uh, item wise, I'm going for Shiva's Guard, I believe. I've already got my plate now. So when I've got uh, full stacks of reactive armor, I'll have over 20, and plate mail will give me an extra 15. So that's something like 35 armor, which is pretty insane. Uh, I won't even need any more um, HP. Uh, I think I got, I'm getting Shiva's Guard before Boots of Travel. I probably could have used Boots of Travel before now. Uh, but I don't think it matters since I'm just I'm not going Dyer's home. <laughs> All I'm doing is standing Dyer's in the fountain, and I'm already regenerating more than I'd ever need. So I don't even need boots of travel right now, but they, they would be handy to have. I think I get them after my Shiva's Guard. The good thing about Shiva's Guard and why I'm taking it over to say a blade mail is that um, it's given me tons of mana, which is always good at this stage, and um, plus it gives that just, just an AoE damage and slow. So as well as my n normal AoE payloads that I've got, because oh, really all my abilities are AoE, uh, then having Shiva's Guard, I've got an extra one on there. Plus it slows, which means I can sort of catch up to people better. It's quite nice. And uh, I, I, I'm not really in trouble of dying to someone like Riki, um, so I don't really need the Blade Mail. Uh, I mean, I'm out-leveling him quite well. I'm 21, Riki's 16, so I don't think, I'm not worried about being ambushed by Riki. Uh, I've got a gem of true sight. Uh, he should be more scared of me than the other way around. I am just a big stompy saw machine <laughs> right now and frankly me and Pudge are pretty unkillable. Pudge is level 19 with a ton of health. Middle towers under attack. I've got 20 armor before reactive armor even stacks so if I take some hits from these guys I'll be up to 25 and if that gets maxed I'm just going to be I'm going to be more un unkillable than Abaddon. <sighs> Chakram flying. Not much trees, but I can use Shiva's guard here. Yeah, disrupted. But I got all my friends around here. A lot of AoE, so I can get rid of all these illusions actually. Uh, these uh, disruption illusions are a bit of a pain, but. Right, see if I can help out my punch. I really need a tree to hook onto, then they can just burst past all of them. That uh, ancient apparition LT is helping out a lot, I think. <coughs> Pop Shiva's guard. That's all I can do, really. I've silenced, I can't retract the Shakram. Again, it's just annoying. But I've got 33 mana regen a second. It's Gonna take care of that. I just I feel like I'm not losing any health and I'm right in their base. Now we can just oh there's my boots of travel too. Not that I need it, but I can still got them. 
I don't think their team have gotten a kill while well, they've been trying to farm uh, Crystal Maiden actually. But that otherwise haven't been getting much kills. I've back when I said I don't die anymore was literally when I didn't when I when I stopped dying. I haven't died in about fifteen minutes or at least ten minutes. Which is quite nice and we've already gotten one set of barracks so we can actually just start on the ancient towers. We can easily win from this, we just need to uh attack, but I think doing a bit of fountain farming, because why not? Well again all I can do is just attack stuff because there's no trees around here. I wish you could timber chain onto the ancient. I mean there's trees on the ancient, isn't there? There's trees here. Middle barracks are under attack. <laughs> so yeah, they're still complaining. And I'm, I'm just, uh, I, I really want there to be more fights. It's just so fun to team fight with Timbersaw because you feel like you're, uh, you, you feel like you're being really clever, using all your abilities. Like, oh, I'm gonna move into this position, timber saw, uh, timber chain that tree, and then uh, chuck, uh, chain them as they go through. Uh, saw them, I mean. <laughs> I mean, it's just so fun. That was a nice combo with Pudge. Uh, I wasn't going to get them, but Pudge managed to uh, get them back, bring them back, and then I finished the job. So it, it's quite fun using another hero that chains, like, say you had a clockwork or something, or or Pudge. Pudge can chain someone back, hook someone back and then I can chain chain the other way and get them in the crossfire. Big fighting going on. At, but we do manage to kill Ablin. And I can check on people in their fountain. I don't think I can out damage the uh, heal. If say it had Ancient Apparition LT in there then it, they'd die from a check on surely. And that's the end of the game! I don't think my commentary was pretty good in this one, but um... Oh my god, this was a fun game to play. We got 18 kills. 18 kills, 16 assists, only died 4 times. And I uh, finished at level 23. So yeah, I would definitely recommend Timbersaw, guys. He's very fun. He's very tanky, and he does a lot of burst if you use him right. But uh... Don't treat him like... Say... Lena, or... An ex assassin. He's not that kind of nuker. He he depends a lot on his positioning. Depends a lot on your timing. But if you pull it off, it's like getting a skill shot. It's a lot. It's very fun. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, I think Ancient Apparition might be my next video because I've been enjoying him as a support character. Uh, but some of my games have had shortcomings, which are aren't very good to watch. Even though I've had some good skill shots with his ulti. But anyway, uh, I'll see you guys next time.